Black Tree TV. Yay, yay. Yeah, yeah. What's up, man? What's up, bro? Man, first, I mean, first, uh, first, let's, let's, let's start with the movie since that's why we're here. High note, loved your character's jacket because it was, it was, it was a, it was a throw off from all the characters that, I mean, you played the good characters and uh, have, have we seen there yet? But this character just like, okay, Ice Cube is playing something that's kind of way different than I see his personality as, but. But before we even talk more about that, 30 years since America's Most Wanted, uh, you've been yeah. such a force in the industry with music and, and film. Like, how does it feel to just to reach that monument as a as an artist and uh, and still be relevant with a, a hit movie and stuff coming out today? I mean, it feels great. You know, this is this is where I want to be. Um, you know, to be able to look at your history and for people to honor it. You know, as a classic record, I think it was an important record, you know, when it comes to uh, East Coast, West Coast uh, collaborations. Um, and so, you know, to be able to to give it its respect and just do, you know, have so many people respond to the listening party that we did on IG. Um, it's just, you know, I'm, 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 I couldn't be happier. Um, sometimes these, these kind of things just kind of go and come and you don't really hear too much from them, but it's been a whole week of of celebration for the record. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. In this movie, uh, uh, I ain't gonna spoil it, but your character was kind of smashing Maggie's dreams a little bit while she was on her come up. Um, did you find like a lot of people were, I mean, everybody knows the story, history of NWA and all that stuff, but was it anybody like on a professional level, like managers, producers that was trying to smash your dreams? Well, you know, I don't know if it's like smashing dreams as much as wanting you to get out their way. <laughs> you know, he, you know, it's been dudes who felt like I was in the way and, you know, I was distracting more than, than helping. Um, but, you know, you just because, you know, just because you get kicked out, that don't mean you don't come back the next day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's really the persistence. You know, some people, take no for an answer. Some people don't. Some people will deny. Some people won't be denied. And what I like about the Maggie character, you know, she didn't ask. She just did it and then presented it. So sometimes that's how you got to do it to, to show what you're worth. You got to do a little bit for free to show that you're valuable. So, you know, to me, of course, I've ran through it. You know, I want to play a guy who, you know, he he's looking over her. You know, he's you know, she's more of a of a you know a speed bump than you know, somebody he thinks he needs to take serious until she shows. You know, I'm a serious producer. Just one simple me. The label guys want to know all about Vegas. <laughs> <coughs> you know what? Let's just talk about this later. Continue to do your uh, you can load this shit. I don't want to sit with a bunch of label guys who, what is it? Have to be reminded. Have to be, have to be reminded that I'm still alive. What do we sit here and talk about? Mm. Uh, I've already done a greatest hits album and a live album, and now a greatest hits live album? <laughs> what? Okay. Look. When I agreed to come back, what did you promise me? Huh? You said you was gonna listen to me this time. All I wanna do is play it safe so we can stack some money. It's pathetic. No, you pathetic. Cause you arguing with me and your ass should be on vocal rest. I will decide what I wanna do next. Yeah. Give me the popsicles, Maggie. Yeah. You always walk away, Grace. I know everybody's been talking about quarantine and sports coming back. And I'm curious as to the big three, um, have you have you started like any like round table discussions with your partners and stuff and try to figure out what you guys are gonna do for the upcoming season and, and how's that's gonna work out? Yeah, you know, we announced yesterday that, you know, unfortunately we gotta cancel the 2020 season. It's just too many obstacles, you know, the only way we was gonna do this thing is if we could do it safe. And there, you know, there's just too much uncertainty on how to do it safe. 
when nobody, you know, catches it, you know, our Hall of Fame coaches, we don't want to put them in any kind of jeopardy. So the best thing for us to do is to look to next year and to hopefully this will be all gone. We can have fans in the stands and do it right. Uh, so, you know, we don't want to just do it because we're anxious to see big three games. We want to we want to do it right, make sure everybody's safe. So it's better to punt it down the road and pick it up another day. Right, well, congratulations on your career. The 30 years and next year is going to be 30 years since Boys in the Hood and Death Certificate. So uh, we'll be celebrating you for, for times to come, man. Thanks for taking the time. Everybody go watch the high note. I appreciate it, man. I see you playing them videos in the background. You know how yeah, I do Yeah, it, that's bro. dope, man. <laughs> much love, much All love. Right, Thank you. Peace. All right. Yeah, yeah.